Hi, I'm Kevin Church, and this month for August 2019, we have Whitney Hanna here as our Songwriter of the Month. Hey, Whitney, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm good. good. Finally, great Thank to you. meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, too, Heard finally. all about you? Yes. <laughs> play with Karen a bit and play oh, with other yes. friends of mine? I'm lucky, too. That's great. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, great musicians all around. Right. So tell me a little bit about your earliest influences in music. Well, my... My most earliest influence was Whitney Houston because I was pretty small. We had the same name. I thought she was just an amazing singer, so I listened to her mostly in my room. Um, you know, went to a lot of concerts with my father growing up, and Whitney Houston was my first one um, in 1989. Wow. And, um, yeah, lots of other stuff. That's great. Do you remember any other childhood concerts you went to that, my that dad, got you rocking and rolling on, yep. the, on the lawn? My dad brought me to this awesome um, Eric Clapton concert once. Uh, we've seen Robert Plant. Um, oh, my goodness. Like, lots of really awesome stuff. Allison Krauss. Wow. That's, That's great. great. So uh, what got you into songwriting then? Um, I started doing, well, I haven't really written anything um, until about a few years ago when I started traveling. That really influenced me to kind of get out of my comfort zone a little bit and start writing. And the more I travel, the more I find myself being super creative and wanting to do more writing. That's wonderful. So when you write a song, do you find that in your travels and all, do you does a melody come first, or is it a lyric that you stick with, or an idea? Most of the time, I start with the lyrics. It's usually like whatever kind of mood I'm, I'm in. Um, you know, it influences me to start writing, and um, the the melodies and the music all kind of like comes later. You know, in a most in the most random way, where I just hear something in my head weeks later, and it just seems to work, or something inspires me, and I grab my notebook, and I'm like, "That's the one for this song." Or, you know, it's mostly the lyrics definitely come first for me. So, with the lyrics, do you write about the past, present, or future? I I'd mean, say all I, the above. All the above. I would definitely say it's a little bit of everything in each song. Um, I definitely lately have started more with the present but i find myself halfway through the song um things just coming together um from memories from the past or you know the future i don't know if i've ever written about the future but maybe that's my next album have you ever written, have you ever written a song and somehow the lyric comes true later on for you have you ever done that? Like it kind of preaches back to you? You know, that's definitely. That's kind of futurist for me, you know? I mean, that's a really good way to look at it. I mean, absolutely. Like you write I, a song I, I and never it thought preaches about back it till to now. you. <laughs> You're like, wow, I was wiser yeah. than I am now. <laughs> wow, gosh, I should listen to this song more often. <laughs> right. So tell us a little bit about um, this project you're working on. You said you had some songs almost almost ready. I'm I mean, like, super I mean, excited about ready. it. Um, I am Pulsely. Um, traveled um, by myself for about five and a half weeks last last August. I went up to Nevada and traveled down the coast through the Highway 1 and 101 through California and um, just was really inspired to just do an album this year. I got back and had all these things in my head and just started writing and writing. Wrote a lot of songs about my trip, a lot of things that I thought about on my trip from the past came back um, pretty clear and I'm really excited I'm about halfway through in the studio um, working with Will Evans who's been just amazing helping me finish this album and I'm hoping that it'll be done in the next like month or two that's wonderful okay so tell me what song we're doing today then today we are doing yellow house i can't wait to play on it i'm very excited about it will's going to be joining us right will who is the one that did the mixing and all the recording and helped with so much with the song um, and has the nice studio he is here today to to do guitar and um i'm really excited about that because he knows how much i love the song it's about a birdhouse Oh, okay. Just for everybody out there. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, I can't wait to play on it. Thank and I can't you. wait to have that album in my hands in a few months. I'm excited about it, and I'm so excited you're going to play on it today. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a fun time. Yes. Well, we're glad to have you, and we're going to get to that song. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Winnie Hanna, everybody. Looking up with yellow paintings on its luck, it will find 
and a happy soul to occupy its lovely home. Sits there peaceful, swaying round while flower petals hit the ground. Such a lovely spot, you see, bring you perfect harmony. If I could fly, I'd be sure that I would love this house. If I could fly, I'd be sure that I would soar up in the sky for this house. The raindrops hit the rusted roof like island music playing through. Sounds are sweet and so upbeat. So I'd ever dream for me. Perfect life up in the trees, enjoying sweet soft summer breeze. Close my eyes so I can see, like the birds and honeybees. If I could fly, I'd be sure that I would love this house. If I could fly, I'd be sure that I would soar up in the sky for this. House. Be sure.